Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Really? How are ya? My name is Kirsty and this is episode 41 of Is It Expired? Okay, here is my disclaimer. As every week, please don't use expired makeup. I know what the potential consequences could be that did not want to come out of my mouth. Uh, I'm taking that risk. I am making these questionable decisions for myself. I don't recommend others do the same. Don't do what I do, that's the bottom line. I could end up with a rash, pink eye, a breakout, or just, you know, other things can happen. And uh, I'm taking that risk. I don't recommend others do the same. The reason I'm doing this is because I have been collecting, hoarding for 12-ish years, and I have a really hard time throwing things out if I can't justify it. So if the texture, the consistency, the smell, or just the way that the product performs has changed, they do get decluttered. Other than that, I just keep them. I'm that person, uh, and I will keep using them. With that, I just use a random number generator, I pick five items, and I use them for a week. See how they're doing. And uh, yeah, I get some fun looks out of them. And I do have some fun ones from this week. So let's see what I pulled last week. First thing that I've got here, this is my Stila Cosmetics Dazzleberry Lip Glaze. It is so close to being done and I'm so excited. This is something that I am gonna be able to use up in 2024, 100%. It's only got like a couple, couple clicks of life left here and it's gonna be done. This is eight or nine years old, it's very old. So it's time to get it out of my collection for sure. And then, you know, the other 13 of them that I have. It's fine. One at a time. You know, one step at a time. And if I can get one done, that then I know I can get these completed. So, I'm excited. This is something I'm going to be able to use up soon. This is my Lottie London Cheeky Kiss Cream Lipstick and Blush Stick. In just my type. This, I don't like the packaging. Uh, so it's a little heart. And don't get me wrong. Is it adorable? Absolutely. Is it convenient? Not at all. So when you're putting it on your lips, like you have to keep spinning it to be able to get the lines that you need or it's just gonna end up everywhere. When you're putting it on your cheek, like just look at the size of this. It it takes a while. And then it's a it's a clicky pen. I don't know. I just think the the packaging on this was weird. The product in itself is nice. This is only about six months old, as is any of my Lottie products because uh, they had sent me a few PR packages at the end uh, of 2023, beginning of 2024, around there. So, not that old, and I will I will use it. I just don't like the packaging. I think it's very inconvenient. Next here, I have my Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil. I hate the name of this. I just think that's it's really absurd. It's a highlight. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, it's eight or nine years old again. It's very, very old. It is just not as uh, glow to the gods as I generally like. As you can tell, I'm, I'm very, very glowy today. Uh, that's partially due to my highlight and partially just due to the fact that it is freaking hot in here. So this just doesn't give me the, the pizzazz that I need and I need to pair it with other things. And that's fine. It is so old that I would not feel good giving it to someone else but I think I can get some use on it if I kind of mix and match with other things and then hopefully hit pan or, you know, finish it before it does finally expire. I mean, date-wise, it is well past its prime, but it smells like nothing. It doesn't smell like anything and it still went on really lovely. It's just, it's always been a little more of a natural highlight. Speaking of Lottie London, Again, six months old or so. This is my Ready, Set, Go True Translucent Finishing Powder. Uh, I've almost actually got the imprint gone. I don't know if you can really see that. The lighting in here is not the best. There we go. So it's almost gone, which means I did get some use on it. What I did learn is I really like it under my eyes. I don't love it all over my face. It does kind of leave a white cast. So under the eyes, great. Uh, it really smooths everything out, keeps everything on. I love it for that. And so moving forward, that is exactly how I will use it. And I am glad that I got to play with it and kind of learn these things. And last, this is my Makeup Revolution, I Heart Revolution, House of Revolution, <laughs> Strawberry Cheesecake Palette. This is five or six years old. It is a little bit older, for sure. It's not one of the oldest things in my collection by any means, but it is, 
it's getting up there and it's like, okay, time to, time to use it. I have actually gotten quite a bit of use on this out of the last five years or so. There are dips in a lot of these, no pans yet, but there is visual progress happening. And so that's good. I really like this. I'm going to put a couple looks up. I did use this, uh, with some companion palettes as well as singles and, uh, water activated liners and had some fun. So I do really enjoy this. It's going to go home. Hopefully I remember to use it a little bit more because I just, it's very pretty. Still smells like it always did. Kind of like candy. I wouldn't say chocolate, but they always smell more like candy to me. I wonder if it's supposed to smell like strawberry cheesecake. I don't know if that's the scent I get, but it doesn't smell weird. It smells like it always did. So that's going to go home and hopefully I can gravitate towards it more. I do notice that I just, I pull a lot of things as companions now. And so I'm getting a lot of use, uh, sorry, I'm getting a little bit of use out of a lot of things, which is good. You know, that's all I can ask for. And at this point I have so much freaking stuff that at least things are getting a little bit of use. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. I feel like things are getting a little more loved. And that's the whole point of this project. Okie doke. That was week 40. I don't even remember anymore. Let's move on to week 41, which is what I have on today. All right, I'm going to start with this. This is the Annabelle Blush Lip Liner. This is the Annabelle Lip Liner in the shade Blush. That was really hard to get out. I, it's just like a natural, very natural lip liner. There we go. Now you can see it. Uh, I love these lip liners, actually. I have about five of the Annabelle ones, and one that I have is actually like this big. So that's generally what I've been working on because I know I can get it finished probably in the next month or so. Uh, but it's going to be nice to take a little bit of a break from that one and use this for the week. And again, it's something that I can pair with pretty much anything and it's going to work. So looking forward to this. It is probably five or six years old and I'm excited to get some of these out of my collection. I wear lip liner every day that I wear makeup uh, just so that I can get the sharp lines that I want. And so I do go through them, but I also have a lot. I have a lot of everything. So I haven't bought any in a long time, but I need to get rid of some of them for sure. Next, this is my YSL Beauty Blush Radiance in the shade six. I don't think they had names. <laughs> Fell out. Uh, so this is from when I worked at Sephora and with a lot of the luxury brands, the gratis would be like, new testers so they weren't touched or anything they came straight from the distributor but it you know it came in like tester packaging and it was definitely that's the original plan for them but they were like it's fine just use them as gratis uh so that's how i got this and it's fine you know the packaging is just kind of funny it's just a basic pink matte blush i mean it's very easy I like it for right now because it does give me like almost a sunburn look, which with the heat we're having looks very natural. Looks like that could just be my skin. And I think it probably uh, without makeup is probably about the same color. So it works perfectly right now. Very pretty. It's something that I do actually use quite a bit. You'd never know. There is like, you, I mean, you can see that it's been used, but you can't tell that I have actually grabbed this a couple dozen times over the last, ooh, eight or nine years for sure. But I'm going to just use it some more and see what happens. Anyway, let's move on. This is my BH Cosmetics Bombshell Bronze in Siren. Siren, si Siren, Siren, Siren. Why does that sound weird? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Si Siren. Okay. This is a very glowy bronzer, which works, which it, it pairs with that blush really beautifully because that's a matte blush and this is a glowy bronzer. Um, and it's pretty. I like the fact that it has like multiple different colors here. So when you uh, blend it all together, you just get this beautiful bronzy coppery shade. And it's just, it's going to give you this summertime glow. So if you're not into like a shimmery, glowy bronzer, this, this is not your girl. Uh, but I love the glow right now. This is a perfect summertime bronzer. I highly doubt they still make it. This is probably, again, seven or eight years old. Not a clue. And if they do, 
do they even have their own website anymore or is it just on makeup revolution i have no idea i can't remember the last time i bought something from bh cosmetics been a hot minute so this needs to get some love because it's it's old but it's pretty all right next i have my shop miss a aoa studio big boss bomb i just love saying that i really do in raspberry now if you've been around for a while in my one of my first episodes i had one of these in mango i think and it, it's gone it's long gone i used it organically i love lip balms and in my spreadsheets i have like lip gloss and care and so all of my scrubs and masks and balms are in there and that's kind of why they get pulled into this even though they're kind of skincare you know but that's just you know it's how my spreadsheets are set up and i'm not gonna fix it at this point because there's so many lip balms in there so it's fine love a good prep to the lips and uh this is gonna be something that is gone before the end of the year anyway now that it's open i will consistently use it and it it i just go through lip balm so quickly there are things that i generally only have like three out at a time one at my desk one at my bedside table and one in my purse and they will all get rotated and and just they get used so that's fine this is would have been i would have bought this in 2023 but it was still in its packaging when i opened it today so it's brand spanking new and uh you know i'm just gonna get some use on it this week and then it's probably gonna go in one of those three places and get used until it's gone and last, the palette of the week, or the eyeshadow of the week, I guess. There's always either a single or a palette. Just because there are so many, something is going to get picked. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. If you have any knowledge of the beauty community in the last 10 years, this was huge. This is probably about eight, eight years old. Uh, I didn't get it like right when it came out by any means, but it is still old. Not something they make anymore, uh, but it's so fun, it's so beautiful, and I just, I am still obsessed with it. This is something that I do pull a lot uh, to go with companion palettes that are a little more neutral. You'd never know. You'd never know that I have reached for this a few dozen times over the last eight years. There's not even dips. <laughs> I just don't get it. But I'm excited to use it for the week. It is so stunning. I just went ahead and used... Uh, fringe as my eyeliner and thrash in my inner corner and let me tell you I was a little bit concerned about how the pigment was going to be after this long but doing my eyeliner it was like two swoops and done I got the color payoff I needed it was smooth it worked and I am very excited to keep using this for the week now obviously because this is so old there are going to be concerns about using things near your eyes however I have contacts in for the first time today in like years. I haven't worn contacts in a, in a very long time. When I was in high school and like my early 20s, I wore contacts every single day, every day without fail. And I would sleep with them in for like two or three days at a time. And these are not ones you sleep with. No, uh, I don't know. Are you ever supposed to sleep with contact? Anyway, not the point. I was terrible. I was terrible on my eyes. And so in my mid-ish 20s, I kind of totally reversed and I, I only wore glasses every single day. Glasses, glasses, glasses. And I bought these a long, long time ago, uh, apparently in like 2019, because that's what the package said. And this is my last set. However, most of the sets, even though they're like a month, they're, they're monthlies. Uh, most of them I only ever wore once. They went into the case and then I forgot about them for so long that they completely dried up in the case. So that's what happened to all the rest of them. And I don't see a point in buying more unless I'm going to wear them. So this is my last set. They technically expired last month, but I was like, well, they have a five year lifespan. So I don't think a month is going to be the end all be all, hopefully. Uh, they seem to be fine today, so we'll see. I just want to see if I'm going to wear them. Because if I am, then I'll get more. Great. But if I'm not, I'm not going to spend the money. It doesn't make sense. So I'm just kind of testing them literally at the very end of their life. And because of that, I feel like my eyes would be more sensitive. Uh, they'd water more if something was irritating them because I already have something in them. And I had no issues with this palette today. Like, I have nothing. I'm really excited. And so looking forward to using this happy that my eyes aren't watering or irritated from 
the very old contacts or the makeup. Always a bonus. And uh, that's going to be my week 41. I'm going to have some fun playing with that. That is everything. Have yourselves a wonderful day, evening, weekend, whatever day it is for you. Have a great one, and I will see you all next time.